welcome to the pretty girl lounge where you can ask me anything and i'll answer your questions so if you have any questions just write them down in the comments and i will get back to you guys soon with this new series so this video is a video dedicated to one of my subscribers they wanted me to make a video on this and basically they want me to talk about they want me to talk about people who have switched over from those toxic youtube channels over to our spaces and um i understand because before this space began what it was it three or four years ago i remember it starting because i've been following exoticals united since she first started i remember her first video everything and um i was doing uber eats at the time and i was listening to her while i was working so i remember all of this i remember the golden sphere movement everything all of that stuff that happened when the men came i was there with i, I was there through all of this but um prior to where we are now before all of that exotic before the exoticals movement i was a part of i follow i still follow chrissy i still follow uh what's her name rashida i was following those channels i was following colorism channels um uh, i am aloha i love her i love i mean i was following all of them all of the main channels that we know of but there were certain channels, not all. There were certain ones that were not necessarily positive, like bringing positivity to their audience as far as their talking points. Because I feel like if you say certain things about your phenotype so many, so many times, it subconsciously gets to you. Like for me, for example, growing up, I grew up with type 4 hair. And so I know how it is to constantly hear negative things about a certain aspect of yourself that isn't looked at in society as a you know acceptable i know what that can do to you subconsciously so i can only imagine not only having 4c hair but being of a darker complexion with dark with more afrocentric features like being unambiguous i can only imagine like, as a, a little girl growing up in today's society, getting on YouTube, I, little kids, like, 10 years old, 11 years old, listening to certain content, like, like it would mess with you at, eventually, especially if you keep hearing negative things. It's important to hear positive things. It's important to see yourself. Representation is very important. That's why I'm Chrissy, she... She promotes positivity within her phenotype. And that's what it should be when... And a lot of them do not... Or are not allies with the lighter skin spaces. Even though we are... Like, me, for example, me personally, I am not into all of the beef and, and everything like that. I'm really not. I'm more about unity. I try to incorporate all skin complexions on my channel as much as possible even when i feel like i might not be representing as much of the darker skin females as i should because i have to keep that in remembrance because just because i'm not dark doesn't mean i have to show representation because that is so important to see yourself that was a big part of my self-esteem growing up i would look at people like Aaliyah. Fancy from the Jamie Foxx show. They looked like my phenotype. And they were considered beautiful. I grew up with low self-esteem because I didn't grow up getting complimented by my mom. And I grew up getting complimented by other people. But then I was being gaslit at home and all of this stuff. So it was kind of confusing for me. I know I look good to other people, but I don't really look good to myself. And it took so many years but I was seeing representation of my phenotype, like what I would look like as an adult by looking at people like Aaliyah. And a lot of the B-roll that I show on my videos are just some examples of the females that I grew up looking at with my similar phenotype. And it helps to see yourself 
in a, in a positive way is the whole point I'm trying to make. So I can't, I understand why a lot of people in that were part of those other spaces come over here because we are more positive. Chrissy's channel is positive too. But a lot of channels aren't like constantly positively promoting dark skin. You know, Rashida, I love her to death, but she doesn't really show positive representations of black women that look like her phenotype. I always hear her more complaining about, you know what I'm saying? About being dark skin versus just embracing and accepting that you are beautiful because Rashida is beautiful. I can't, I grew up saying beautiful wrong, so y'all gotta forgive me if I, it's coming out like weird. I can't say beautiful. <laughs> but yeah, so if you see positive representations of your phenotype, even as a child growing up, especially as a child, it's going to help. It's going to help your self-esteem. It really is. Positive affirmations, all of that. Don't let other people determine how you see yourself, if that makes sense. Um, I just, I'm going to look up this quote that I found the other day. Like, it is, it is, it is so important to have representation. And the quote reads, no one can make you feel inferior without your consent. And that is by Elena Roosevelt. And I thought that quote was awesome. And it's true. I mean, our society is, I can't say the word without being flagged, but it starts with W and the, it's a two-part word, W and S, you know, right and supremacy. You know what I'm saying? We live in that type of society. And, you know, that's why our skin bleaching rate, our skin bleaching numbers are high. It's it's just a mess. It's a hot mess, y'all. It really is. So it's just very, very important to have your own self. Like, know that you're beautiful for yourself because you're all you've got. But I hope y'all know what I'm trying to say here. It's just important to hear positivity about your phenotype. So I'm trying to, I'm going to try to incorporate more phenotypes that are different from mine on my channel. Because my channel is not just about, you know, reverse colorism and light skin issues, but it's also about pretty privilege. And I don't want to create this false misunderstanding that I am saying that only light-skinned people can be pretty because I I really don't want that to be what's coming across because all phenotypes have beauty in them they really do and I just I want that to be understood so I hope I was able to help anyone out there I hope I was able to answer my subscribers question thank you guys so much for listening and I will see you guys in the next one.